Jeez. Hey, how are you guys? Today we're uh, out here going to do another video and I shut my phone off so my wife can't interrupt us while we're doing it and, uh, and then I don't have to, uh, we can just carry on with our thoughts. Now what we're doing here today, we talk about turrets and about monitoring your cows for their food intake and, and uh, what we want to do is go along with talking about uh, body condition score as well if you haven't been able to monitor it as good and we do have a group of cattle here and there's always a variation within them so we'd like to just talk about a few of these thinner what a thin cow what we term to be a thin cow the thinnest cow we have here is a 2.5 and uh, you know if you've got cows that are in worse shape than that then you've, you're you're going to have to you know it's worrisome and uh, there's lots of reasons but part of it is <coughs> You know, we want our cows to breed back soon, and that all is dependent upon what kind of condition are we in when when they calve, not how much grass you can pour into them and feed you can pour into them after. Because right, the body condition of the cow prior to calving is more important than going. Well, we can uh, flush them on grass because they won't breed back if they're too thin prior to calving. So you got to start thinking 30 days prior to calving, you've got to monitor your body condition score and make sure that they're up where they should be so that you get as effective uh, rebreeding period as you can. Yeah, and and even 30 days is a little bit late because when I can see it, I try to check my, make sure I know what my cows or condition is in the fall so that by the first of the year, uh, me calving in April, well, there's an old saying where you're condition of your cows in the fall going into winter is going to relate to your pregnancy rate the next fall. So we try to do it that way and, and the, a good rule of thumb is trying to get your cow to cycle three times before you put the bulls up and you want to breed your cow back within 85 days of calving if you're going to get a calf every year. So a cow that's in a body condition score of three or better is likely going to start calf cycling within about 30 to 40 days after calving. So she'll have two cycles before the bulls go out and the first the, her third cycle is when she'll be exposed to the bull. A cow has a 50% chance of catching on her first cycle after calving, a 75% chance on her second cycle and more than 95% on her third cycle. So if you've got a cow that's in a three, she's going to cycle three times before the bull gets to her two times. But if you have a cow that's a body condition score of two or less, she's probably not going to start cycling till 80 days after she calves, and by then you'll already be too late because you've only got a 50% chance of getting her rebred. Yeah, and you're, if they're at a two prior to calving, chances are your, your, well, not chances are, your open rate will be substantially higher. So you have to, as much as what we've gone through this winter, where guys have had lots of hay, and now those thin cows are really starting to show the calves, they're, you know, guys that are calving in April, the uh, calves are starting to pull a lot off these cows, and suddenly guys are going, man, my cows are thin, and it's too late now, so we have to be really cognizant of what we're doing and get that feed tested early so you know what you're doing. Having a big chunk of hay in front of them does not guarantee you're going to have a fat cow. So we need to look at some cows that are in what we would consider ideal shape and what we would consider thin and what you have to do and when you have to go about solving them. Okay, if we just turn you around and you can look at this cow, there's a black cow here. <coughs> and I would consider her to be in a three and a half. This one by the longhorn. And you can see that she's, you can't make out the muscle groups on her hind end. Her hooks to her pins is fairly full. You can't make out her backbone. <coughs> you can't see a rib on her. And if we just sneak ahead here, we might be able to see, we have a two right behind her, this longhorn that's walking through the group. And uh, we might be... See this young cow right here is in a little bit lower body condition than what this one was we were originally looking at, this 4U. She's not, hasn't got quite the body condition, so if this one's, the first one we looked at is a full three, maybe three and a quarter. This 4U is like the two and a half or two and three quarters. Still in good enough body condition. But you can tell she's a, young, a little bit younger or a little bit harder doing type cow. Now here we have our longhorn. And you can see her ribs. You can start to see her backbone. You can see her, her tail head is pronounced. pronounced. Uh, that kind of goes with the breed. If this other cow will back up, we can see her hind 
limbs and their muscles on her hind legs. You can make those out quite easily. That's another sign. So these cows, they lose weight. The last place they put fat on is their brisket. Then they'll, if so, if you have a really fat cow, a four or a five, she'll be fat in her brisket. When she loses weight, she'll lose weight from there. Then she'll start to lose a little weight on her rib cage. From there, she'll start to lose weight on her hind limbs. And from there, she'll, it'll move where she'll, she'll start losing fat off of her back, then her abdomen, then into her bone marrow. And if you've got a cow that's got no fat on her back and very little fat in her abdomen, she's likely, she's in real trouble. And those are the kind of cows that end up going down and, and really losing condition and wearing themselves out. And don't forget too that when you're looking at your cows and you assume, you know, they've got, when you check them, if they've had a big intake of, of hay, then they're going to be look a little tubbier on you. But don't forget too, when your cow calves, she's going to lose upwards of 200 pounds. And once your cow loses that, it sure changes the way she looks. So if you don't have them in a three, man, you're going to have some awful thin cows after they calve. And that is where it's very important going into calving at a two or two and a half really isn't a real good option. This number 15 in front of us, I would consider her the black cow directly in front of us. I would put her at a full four. She's in extremely good condition. She will cycle back as quick as you're going to have her. You get her on a good mineral program. She's obviously on a good energy program. And uh, she's going to cycle back very quickly on you because of her body condition. And let's talk about this brockle faced cow here. So this brockle faced cow, I would put her at about a two and a half to two and three quarters, not quite a three. She's in decent shape, but she needs a little extra in my, in my opinion, from the hooks to the pins and on, on the ribs itself, you can see that she's not carrying quite as much, not as bad as what the, the Texas Longhorn that we'd seen, but still a cow that for whatever reason, should have a little extra flesh on it. Okay, well, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember, too, if you see something you don't agree with, don't be afraid to tell us. We like criticism. So you thanks betcha. again for Kevin Wadham coming out and helping us. And cool. Give Take us care. a call. Take care. You bet.